Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 92. For this Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to manage menu items versus sub menus. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request on how to manage making menus, or in other words, how to create menus and sub menus for your navigation menu bar. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to the designs gallery. Go ahead and lock that panel. And when you open up the designs gallery, you want to click on page elements, which is the first folder I use, and then click on navigation bars, and then go ahead and drag in a navigation menu bar to your workspace. In this case, I've already dragged my navigation menu bar into my workspace. So once you do that, go ahead and continue following this tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and close out my designs gallery and I'm going to go ahead and double left click on my navigation menu bar. And when you click on your navigation menu bar, uh, it'll bring up the navigation bar properties. And the first thing that you want to check is your settings section. And under your settings section, make sure this option is unchecked. The site navigation bar automatically links to all pages and appears on all pages in site. Make sure that that's unchecked because when you create additional pages in your, in your website, it's going to automatically create another button in your navigation menu bar and you don't want that check if you're going to be creating sub menus it's just so much easier when you have that option unchecked in my opinion you don't have to do that but I think it's going to make your life so much easier to have that unchecked uh, so once you do that let's go ahead and go to the next section and that's buttons and menus and the thing that I want you to take a, a note in there is that the primary buttons that we see in our navigation menu bar is refill, reflected in our navigation bar properties you'll see that it says button text 1, button text 2, button text 3 and that's what it says in our workspace too for our navigation navigation menu bar buttons and it also has an option beneath that that says double click to add button so make sure that you understand that this double click to add button is just adding a new button to our navigation menu bar and the reason I'm telling you that is because when we expand these different areas for button text 1 and button text 2 or button text 3 whichever one I, I decide to use it's going to have some other option that says double click and then you know whatever it says after that in this case for what we can see right now it says double click to add button and we don't want to add buttons we want to add menu items and we want to add sub menus so there is a difference and you need to make sure that when you're adding sub menus and menus that you're reading the text so that you know that you're adding the right thing so let's go ahead and go to button text one and you'll see the plus button next to it go ahead and left click on that and you see that it expands our options and here it'll say double click to add menu and what that's going to basically do is it's going to add a menu right beneath button text one and that'll be the first menu item that you see so let's go ahead and double left click on that and we'll call that first option maybe services okay and then if we stretch this out a little bit so that you can see the text there you'll see that it still says double click to add menu item and if you double left click on that we'll be able to add another uh, item for our menu in this case we'll call it products and so now you know how to add menu items that appear right beneath our navigation menu bar button so let's go ahead and hit OK and go to file preview web page and if you place your cursor over button text one you'll see that now we have some menu items in this case we have services and then we have products and hopefully you can see that on screen I know it's really small text maybe if I go to my web browser and preview it maybe you'll be able to see it a little bit better and I'll show you that you can see that it says services and products so those are our menu items so anytime that you want to add menu items that appear right beneath your button text one that's the way you're going to have to do it the way I just showed you in the navigation menu bar properties so let's go ahead and go back to our navigation menu bar properties and click on the, the plus button next to button text one and if we wanted to add additional menus to the, up here right beneath button text one we would just double click on click to add menu item just like before but we're not going to do that we're going to actually show you how to create a sub menu for these menu items that we just created under button text one and the way that you would do that is just click on the plus button next to either services or products so let's left click on the plus button next to services and you'll see that now it says double click to add sub menu so this is going to create in a menu that it's going to create a menu that extends off of services 
In other words, when you place your cursor over the text that says services, another menu is going to pop out that allows you to see additional options. So let's go ahead and double left click that and we'll give it the title, I don't know, shipping. Maybe we have some shipping services. So we, we could write that. One thing that I want you to take note of is that when we created that sub menu, we lost the option that says add sub menu because we're not creating additional sub menus in this case we're creating a menu item now so if we add another item here which it says double click to add menu item it's going to add a menu to that sub menu we just created in other words I'll, I'll explain it to you about this way when we created services services is just a regular menu item that appears right beneath button text one and for services we have the sub menu shipping okay and so since shipping is a sub menu any additional menus created under that sub menu is just considered a regular menu item so if we double left click on this and we write uh, let's say packaging so maybe maybe we have some packaging uh, services okay so packaging and shipping is all under the sub menu that we created for services so the sub menu we created for services started with shipping and any additional items under that would be considered just a regular menu item. They're all related to services. So our first sub menu was shipping, and the next menu is just considered a menu item. So the shipping is what initiated the sub menu. Packaging was just a menu item added to those sub menus. And I'll show you what I mean when we go to preview. So let's hit OK, and then go to File, Preview Web Page. So I think it's going to be a lot easier for me just to show you what's happening. If we put our and I'm actually going to go to my web browser so that you can see it in real time. And if you place your cursor over button text one and over services, you see that we have shipping and packaging as our our our, our menu items. In this case, shipping would be the first sub menu, and then packaging would be considered just the menu item. So we're adding a menu item to that sub, that first sub menu that we created, shipping. So hopefully that makes sense to you, and it's not too complicated for you to understand. I think that you'll be able to follow what I'm saying here. So I think you have the general idea of how to create menus and submenus using the navigation menu bar properties. If not, you know, feel free to send me a message on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, embed, or share this video, or comment. And you know, let me know if, if this was helpful. If it wasn't helpful, tell me what areas you're struggling with, and I'll do my best to help you with that. So. Uh, stay tuned for two, uh, stay tuned for future tutorials and uh, if you have any requests for tutorials definitely let me know and I'll do my best to assist you with learning the Xara web designer software have a great day